Hey YouTube, I'm Blaze, and today in this video I'm going to be giving you a complete guide on the new Capital Supremacy update which just came to Battlefront 2. So in, the, in this video I'm going to be going over the Capital Supremacy game mode and the best way to play it, the Infiltrators best way to play them, and also the new lightsaber combat changes and how that'll affect your gameplay and in what ways you want to change the way you play. By the way, sorry if my voice sounds like really high, it's just that I've got a bit of a sore throat and for some reason my voice is doing weird things to me. We're going to kick things off with the Capital Supremacy game mode. This works basically by having five control points on the ground and which team is controlling the majority gets points on their reinforcements. Once they've got 50, they go into the enemy's capital ships. They have to open doors, so there are two objectives. They only need to count one of them. Then there are another two objectives which they need to sabotage and they need to sabotage both of those weak points in order to win the game. If they're unsuccessful, it returns to ground combat starting over, except their progress in the capital ship is saved, so the next time they return there, let's say they cap the first door, then the first door would already be capped for them. This is actually allowing of really strong comebacks, so an enemy team can attack you twice in a row, let's say, get you down to your last objective, but then you just manage to push them back, and you can immediately attack their ship, and you might even get it first try, or when you return to the ground again, you'll be able to have another go at it, and you can actually make a huge comeback from the other team stomping you. The games could be shorter, I think everyone agrees on that, and I also think that the objectives in the capital ships are a bit linear, a bit more like Galactic Assault, which is a shame because we wanted something which was a lot more conquest-like, however overall it is a very strong and very fun game mode, and I'm going to give you some quick tips about how to do well in that. The first and probably most important tip I can give you is that don't forget to defend, particularly point E which is the one in the middle of the map because that objective gets attacked very quickly but what I see a lot of teams doing is they run to cap one objective and they quickly move on to the next one to cap and they leave the one behind them completely exposed and the other team takes it back so it becomes a running simulator between teams as opposed to an actual fight so occasionally holding your ground especially when you see enemies nearby is actually a really good way of doing it of course this doesn't mean you get such high saturation of kills in your gameplay so what I suggest is that you actually stay around the objective push back but always keeping such a distance from your original objective that you can run back there to defend which is a really good way of keeping your team with those certain control points as i said before point e is a really important one to get in the middle of the map and using the flanking routes in the tunnels beneath is a great way of moving behind the enemy team and getting quite a few kills you can also flank and this is really important to flank when you're in the enemy's capital ships because as soon as you flank there you can actually get rid of the team which is rooted in there because it's very easy to get an entire team in a room and then it's just completely impregnable however if you flank around it's really useful for your team so remember to flank and actually picking special units as opposed to heroes is actually very strong in this game mode because remember heroes show up on the radar however special units have the ability to cap entire objectives by themselves if you're a good player but heroes will attract a lot more attention. For the infiltrators, next week, by the way, I will be releasing an infiltrator ultimate guide, so make sure to subscribe for that. And for that reason, I won't go too in depth in this video. I'm just going to quickly say that arc troopers need a nerf, commando droids need a slight buff to their weapon, and the way you should be playing them is with the arc troopers, you can play really defensively or get around in flanks. However, taking enemies head on if they're more than three or four enemies is risky, although you can actually do it because the if, Arc Troopers have very high damage output, do not be afraid to take on heroes, just throw that shock trap at your feet and you can detonate it when the hero gets close and just completely light them out. As for the commander droids, the best way to play them is probably popping all of your abilities at the same time, so get that smoke down, then the night vision, and what you want to do is you want to move around your enemies or dash towards them, make sure to dash forward a lot. And getting up in their face, not necessarily using the Vibra Sword, though that is a very good attachment, but definitely shooting them. Now, I definitely, most important tip with them, is make sure to use your Vibra Sword when you're behind the enemy, because it doesn't give away your position on the radar. Now for the hero combat system, which basically changed a bunch of the hero stats in terms of how many blasters and uh, sabers they can block and how many times they can swing before they run out of stamina. When a hero runs out of stamina, they can neither swing nor block, which is very important. And there is no stagger when you attack someone. So if you're blocking and someone attacks you, do not expect to just be able to swing freely after that because the other team will probably end up trading blows with you. So, you know, that doesn't work so well. What I recommend is as soon as you block something, dash, then slash. And then also if you're attacking someone, try and dash around them, take a quick slash and then dash again. 
as soon as you run out of stamina, try and pace it out on your abilities. So let's say you're Dooku and you run out of stamina, just use your lightning stun against the heroes who are about to attack you. Also, when you knock someone over, they cannot block and they can't shoot or anything. So when you knock someone over, they're completely incapacitated, which means that actually knocking people down and let's say Dooku and then immediately attacking them is a great way to do it. And a lot of the time, as soon as you get in one hit, you can usually follow up with the second without any consequences. So make sure if you tap that button once, you might as well tap it twice and get double the damage in there. And don't forget to dash, just dash a lot basically, and you should be pretty good in this update. Um, I know this is a particularly brief video, but I have to round it off here. I'm actually double recording today because I'm going away next week, so I'm sorry if this seems a bit rushed. Uh, I tried to put a lot in it, however make sure to stay tuned for that ultimate infiltrator guide because that is going to be the big bombshell in terms of information that you need and want. I think that's going to do it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, hit that bell, all of that good stuff. Bye.